This conference will now be recorded. So yesterday we did about Oracle database server and what is Oracle server contains. We know that it contains Oracle instance and Oracle database. And in Oracle instance, we discuss SGA. And in SGA, we discuss uh, shared pool, database buffer, cache, redo log buffer, large pool, Java pool, uh, flash buffer, smart flash cache, in memory, mem optimize area, fixed SGA, and and many uh, other things. Okay, uh, so today we will discuss about the processes. So first, uh, can anyone tell me what is process in terms of uh, computer technology? Anyone has idea about process? See, process is a mechanism in an operating system that basically can run a series of steps. So this is the definition in terms of technical. So process execution architecture depend on the operating system suppose uh, if your operating system is uh, windows then oracle background process is a thread of execution within a process but if your operating system is linux and unix then oracle process is either an operating system process or a thread with an operating system process Okay, so process uh, normally runs uh, in its own private memory area and most processes can periodically write to an associated trace file. Okay, now uh, how many types of process we have? So we have two types of process. One is client process and another one is Oracle process. So what is client process? Whenever you run the application or you run Oracle tool code actually, so client process is start. And Oracle process is a unit of execution that runs the Oracle database uh, code, okay? And Oracle process, as I said, can be an operating system process or a thread with an operating system process. Now again, Oracle process has two types. Uh, one is uh, server process, uh, which performs uh, a client request. And uh, suppose uh, uh, when a user is executing select a statement, then server process parse SQL queries, place them in shared pool and create and execute a query plan for each query and read buffers from the database buffer cache or from disk and server process uh, and the uh, process memory allocated in these process run in the database instance and the instance continues to function when server process terminate okay so Oracle process are three type actually one is server process second one is background process third one is slave process so what is background process already yesterday i told background process actually reside in the instance and when database is start then these processes start and it performs maintenance tasks uh, like uh, writing redo buffers uh, cleaning up the process instance recovery etc and uh, slave process is an additional helper of your background process or server process okay so uh, the the this is uh, the process uh, in in oracle uh, database actually okay so how many um, processes you have so you have the query uh, you can execute a v dollar process view uh, which contain the information of uh, 
the each process which connected to uh, your Oracle database instance. Okay, and uh, uh, client process uh, you can uh, you can check uh, by ps hyphen ef command. Uh, so it will show you about the client process. So client process is means when you are connecting to SQL plus or SQL star plus tool. So on that time, uh, client process uh, is started. Okay, and on, uh, on on client host, you can fire this command which I have posted. And same way on uh, on, on Oracle database server, you can also uh, you can also uh, fire this command. So you can note it uh, this command. So this will show you a server process with a non-local connection, but no client process. Clear? Now before going more into background process, uh, there is two term is used in, in database. One is connection and one is session. So let me know what is connection and what is session. Anyone? <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyone, guys? See, database connection is a physical communication uh, pathway between a client process and database instance. So this is the connection definition. And database session is a logical entity in the database instance memory that represent the state of a current user login to a database. Suppose when user is authenticated by the database with the password, a session is established for this user and this session uh, will exist uh, from the time the user is authenticated by the database until the time the user disconnect or exit uh, the database application. Okay. And uh, during a connection, basically, a communication pathway is established using inter-process communication mechanism or network software. Okay, so typically connection pro occur between a client process and a server process or dispatcher. Okay, uh, but it can also occur between a client process and Oracle connection manager CMAN. Okay. So if Oracle net connection pooling is configured, then it is possible for a connection to drop but leave the session intact. Okay, and one user can open multiple session uh, in the database. Okay, in dedicated server connection, the database creates a server process on behalf of each connection only the client process that causes the dedicated server to be created uh, uses it. Are in, in shared server connection, many client process access a single uh, shared server process. Okay, so so this is uh, dedicated connection, and uh, this is uh, 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 shared connection. Okay. If you can see uh, the diagram, I can put on my uh, window. Yeah, so see that one user, one client process, one server process, one session. Okay, so this is dedicated uh, server connection uh, established in the database and in terms of uh, shared server connection the diagram will be like this uh, yeah 
so this is uh, so this client server process and it is performing for two sessions okay so now connection and session is clear so how uh, you will find out connection and session uh, user information so there is uh, there is a v dollar session view actually uh, so where you will uh, find out uh, the information about this okay and uh, yeah Yeah, so uh, server process uh, is basically who one uh, create server process, guys? Who creates server process in your database? DNS. Uh, okay. Okay. So Oracle database creates server process to handle the request of client process connected to the instance and client process always communicate with the database through a separate server process. Okay. So uh, it creates on the basis of the connection method actually so when uh, your connection method is uh, oracle net listener then client application connected to the database through a listener when your connection method is dedicated broker so this is a database process that create foreground process means server process Unlike the listener, the broker reside within the database instance. When using a dedicated broker, the client connected to the listener, which then uh, uh, hands off the connection to the dedicated broker. Okay. And the third one is uh, Bequit, means SQL Star Plus, OCI client, or another client application. So all these directly spawn the server process. Okay. So whenever a connection does not use uh, Bequeath, the database creates the server process uh, in this way or, or in this order. First, client application requests a new connection from the listener or a broker. The listener or broker initiate the creation of a new process or thread. The operating system creates the new process or thread. Then Oracle database initializes various component and notification. And database hand over the connection and connection specific code. So this is the uh, 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 order. Uh, when when database creates the server process if your connection is not uh, be quit actually okay be quit uh, I am typing the spelling so first this is the method second Oracle listener is the method. Third is dedicated broker is the method. Okay. So these three methods uh, is used for uh, database creation of server process. Now clear guys? Any doubt? Now what server process will do? Server process will perform uh, some task first one is uh, it will perform parse and run SQL statement 
through the application including creating and executing the query plan then it will execute PL SQL code it will read data blocks from the data file and put into the database buffer cache and uh, it will return result in such a way that the application can process uh, the information okay so uh, so this is uh, the task of uh, server process now what is uh, two types in server process one is dedicated server process so what is the meaning of that if you remember when i did the practical in that uh, when i was ch checking the option of uh, shared memory and uh, uh, schema and all so in that we get one option dedicated and share so on that time we choose dedicated connection actually so when you are choosing dedicated connection so it means you are uh, using dedicated server process okay so in that one user one server process suppose you have 20 user so you will get 20 server process and each server process will dedicated to the uh, client process for the duration of the session okay and this server process uh, stores uh, its information uh, uh, and you uh, uh, in its PGA okay uh, and the UGA information is also so uh, please remember uh, this point okay uh, I'm post uh, I'm typing you uh, in that so you can note it in your notebook okay so now what is shared server process shared server process will comes when we choose client connect shared server connection and in shared server connection server process will not come into the picture uh, the, uh, it comes dispatcher process we discussed yesterday right suppose you have 20 client process uh, that can connect uh, to a single dispatcher process and dispatcher process receive request from the clients and puts them into the request queue area in the large pool you remember guys and whatever the first available shared process uh, is in your database it will take the request from the queue area and it will process it and after that it will place the result into the dispatcher response queue area so dispatcher process monitor this queue and transmit uh, the result to the client okay so in dedicated server process uh, uh, in shared server process has its own PGA okay and uh, UGA is also there to store the session information in the SGA so that they can share a server can access uh, session data okay so 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 you you can uh, remember this clear guys now come to uh, background process so as i said background process are additional process uh, used by uh, oracle database it will perform maintenance tasks uh, required to operate the database and and to maximize performance for multiple users okay and each background process has a separate task so we will discuss uh, 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 those background process and when background process will create and who will create please answer yes perfect oracle database create background process automatically when a database instance is start an instance can have many background process but not all of uh, will exist in every database configuration so if you want to see uh, which process is available right now so you can uh, execute this query uh, v dollar process and you can uh, you can get the information of the process so as i said background process we have mandatory background process we have optional background process we have slave process so in mandatory background process uh, 
if you can see we had uh, pmon uh, group okay pman lreg uh, listener registration process system monitor process database writer process log writer process checkpoint process and mmon and mmnl process recover process means reco okay so these processes is the mandatory background process in in your uh, in your oracle uh, database uh, instance or you can say in oracle database clear guys so in the diagram you can see uh, these names are present okay if you want i can post you in chat box also okay so these are the background process if anyone is asking so you can tell so how many is that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so almost uh, 10 background process are mandatory clear guys so we will discuss uh, one by one 2 2 2 4 so six. okay and optional process you can see in the diagram uh and slave process uh, is dedicated process shared server process like that so first one is uh, pmon group actually so this pmon group includes pmon uh process but it also include uh, a clmn process which is a cleanup main process and a clnn that is cleanup helper process so these process are makes a group which group is called as pmon group okay clear let me post you whatever i said so in pmon group these are three processes so pmon group actually uh, oversees cleanup of the buffer cache and the release of the resources used by a client process suppose a uh, pmon group is responsible for resetting the status of active transactional table releasing logs that are not lo no longer required and removing the process id of terminated process from the list of active process okay and the database must ensure that process Uh, sorry resource held by terminated process are released so that they are usable by other process otherwise process may end up blocked or stuck in contention so now pmon work is only deduct the termination of other background process if server or dispatcher process terminate abnormally Uh, then the pmon group is responsible for performing process recovery process termination can have multiple cause uh, including operating system kill command or you can kill like this alter system kill session so uh, if you are doing this then also uh, your your process uh, of server or dispatcher will be uh, Uh, actually terminated okay so now what clmn will do means clean up main process so pmon delegates clean up work to this process that is clmn and the task of deducting abnormal termination remains with pmon so pmon you can say is the master process which only deduct the uh, information of uh, uh, termination and then it will order to clmn process and clmn process will periodically perform the clean up of terminated process terminated sessions terminated transaction network connection ideal session detached transaction and detached network connections that have executed uh, that have exceeded their ideal time out okay now uh now there is interesting thing again the third process which is clean up helper process clnn so basically clmn process delegates clean up work to this helper process so actually 
this CLNN process will uh, do the cleanup of terminated process and session and the number of helper process is proportional to the amount of cleanup work to be done and the current efficiency of cleanup actually. So cleanup process can become blocked uh, so it will prevent uh, to clean up other process and also if multiple process require cleanup then cleanup uh, time can be significant. For this reason Oracle database can use multiple helper process in parallel to perform cleanup okay so 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 that uh, uh, because of this slow performance uh, uh, it happens so uh, which view you can uh, get about the uh, information so we had uh, v dollar cleanup process and v dollar uh, uh, sorry views not process v dollar uh, dead cleanup views so these two views actually uh, contains metadata about a CLMN process and another view uh, V dollar cleanup underscore process uh, contains one row for every cleanup process and if V dollar cleanup underscore process uh, dot state is busy then the process is currently engaging in cleanup so you can remember this okay clear guys so that's why it is called as pmon group okay so if a process or session terminates then the pmon group releases the uh, resources uh, which were using by these uh, uh, processes so in in some cases uh, pmon group can automatically uh, quarantine corrupted on unrecoverable resources so that database is not uh, immediately forced to terminate okay so there is a v dollar uh, quarantine view which contains uh, about uh, this information so you can access and check uh, this view okay so i'm posting that so uh, so this is uh, about pmon any doubt I hope you are listening first time <laughs> no one tell you tell you in this detail about uh, the processes no reply from anyone okay then we had a process manager you can see in the diagram p band so it will uh, actually uh, it will monitor spawn and stop uh, the following type of process one is dispatcher and uh, shared server process second one is connection broker and pooled server process for database uh, resident connection pools third one is job queue process and fifth fourth one is a restartable background process so actually this process will do uh, these things so so you should remember this clear guys now third one is uh, lreg process so when it comes answer me please LREG process in which version it comes anyone has idea no this is not listener this is LREG listener registration process it is called as okay so uh, before uh, uh, from version 1 to version 11 G uh, which one uh, performs the uh, listener registration 
anyone can tell me another question p mon boss so p mon will did a listener registration till 11g but from 12c onwards this lreg process come into the picture and it will uh, do the listener registration okay so from 12c onward lreg uh, introduce and lreg is doing the listener registration so please make it note of this point so this listener process register information about the database instance and database process like dispatcher process or server process with oracle net listener so whenever instance is start lreg pulls the listener to determine whether it is running or not if the listener is running then lreg passes uh, it relevant parameter to the listener if it is not running uh, uh, means listener is not running then lreg periodically attempt to contact it so this is the work of uh, uh, lreg now got it guys now come to smon so what smon do actually guys if you see in the diagram uh, smon uh, duty is very important so it will uh, do uh, a temporary segment uh, creation and manage it will maintain and do segment it will clean up the data dictionary it will maintain system chain number scn okay so what is scn guys perfect SCN is basically a number uh, which actually work like a clock. Okay, like in clock, uh, uh, your second uh, uh, sui or needle uh, or pin you can say uh, is moving. Same way, one number is generated every time. So that number is basically a SCN number. So whenever you do the commit then what are what is the scn number of that time it will attach to that transaction and it will store in the form of redo entries in the redo log buffer and from that it will transfer to the redo log file that reside on the disk okay clear guys so uh, so so duty is uh, clear guys and one main important duty is not mentioned in the uh, in the diagram uh, instance recovery so smon performs also the instance recovery okay so we will discuss later and smon process also check regularly whether it is needed to other process so other process can call smon if they detect a need for it okay so smon process another work also okay now uh, dbwr okay so how many dbwr we have in our database and how many we can create Tell me guys, database writer process. One to twenty. Ten DBWR. Okay. Oh, Nobody is correct. What else? Only two, three people is replying, others are not replying. Why? Either you don't know or either you are not in the mood to reply. <laughs> okay, Khalik, no issues. 
see we had 100 dbwr or database writer okay and what first what is the work of dbwr dbwr writes the dirty buffer from the database buffer cache to the data file so now question is what is dirty buffer dirty buffer which is a buffer which contains new value so when new value will generate it when you are updating a record then new value generated so that will store in the database buffer cache so the area where it is store it is called as dirty buffer so dbwr is very lazy person actually so whenever uh, there is no uh, space available in the database buffer cache then server process will signal to the dbwr boss write it a dirty buffer so that i can perform next transaction then dbwr wake up and uh, 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 it will write the data uh, uh, dirty buffer uh, from which list it will check okay yesterday we did that from which list it will check let me see if you remember yesterday session are bhai khaliq pata hai you are fresher <laughs> Yeah, guys, tell me yesterday we discussed DBWR writes the dirty buffer uh, from the database buffer cache to the data file, but on which list it will check what are the buffers or block address where it is found. LRU, oh my god, checkpoint queue, my dear. Okay, please remember the things, note down the things. Uh, watch my uh, sessions video I am uploading on YouTube. Okay, so please take care of this. Otherwise, you will uh, flush everything. Now, second time when checkpoint occurs, then DBWR writes uh, the 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 dirty buffer uh, from uh, from database buffer cache to the uh, data file, and also. Uh, Suppose LGWR, which actually writes the redo entries from the redo log buffer to the redo log file. And if suppose those dirty buffer is not written, then LGWR is also signaled to the DBWR, please write the dirty buffer so that I can write it. Okay. So now what is the naming of uh, these uh, DBWR? So you can see that in the diagram, uh, uh, the first one DBW0 to 9. Uh, and after that dbw a to z so this is the naming but after uh, z it is start naming bw 36 to 99 so this is the way naming convention uh, happen in your database so don't get confused if you are getting bw 36 bw 37 like that okay if your database writer is uh, db1 so you will get dbw0 if your database writer is 2 then you will get dbw0 dbw1 like that okay so it writes in the system it writes in sysox user temp undo so so it will takes the things from that actually and also it writes uh, in database smart flush cache okay clear guys now LGWR first I will discuss LGWR so LGWR is log writer process as I said it writes the redo entries from the redo log buffer to the online redo log file so why it is writing because uh, because because these entries are very important okay so when a user commit a transaction then LGWR write when log switch occur in your database then lgwr write when three second pass then lgwr write when redo log buffer is one third full then lgwr will write when one mb of data is generated in redo log buffer then it will write and dbwr must write modified buffers to the disk so before dbw can write a dirty buffer the database must write to disk the redo record associated 
with changes to the buffer okay so if wwr discovered that uh, some redo records have not written its signal lgwr to write the record to the disk and waits for lgwr to complete before writing the data buffer to disk so uh, there is a correction actually i said uh, lgwr signal to the dbwr but that's wrong actually dbwr will signal to the lgwr so please make sure uh, you can correct uh, in your writing when you are making a notes okay so i get confused a little bit actually so this is the diagram which shows so earlier uh, lgwr was one but now we had uh, lgwr uh, 0 0 299 so we had uh, in that slave processes also so 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 you can uh, check that so lgwr in writes uh, in this uh, way okay clear guys so slave processes is also there uh, for lgwr actually any question so far so lgwr handles the operations that are very fast okay and uh, Uh, LGWR uh, delegates uh, and coordinate uh, operations to the log writer worker helper process. So LGNN is the helper process uh, which uh, which perform writing the redo from redo log buffer to the redo log file and uh, completed posting the completed write to the foreground process that is uh, waiting actually. and redo transport slave process ships redo from the current online and stand by redo logs to remote stand by destination configure for asynchronous redo transport okay so uh, lgwr can run as a thread and operating system uh, so you can remember this okay and uh, dbwr uh, is also you can say Uh, uh, uh run as a uh, process okay so what is the parameter i forget that what is the parameter which actually decide how many types of dbwr is there and how many types of uh, maximum dbwr is there tell me guys no q db uh, underscore writer underscore process guys should i write db underscore writer underscore process processes okay db underscore writer underscore processes so this parameter will decide how many dbwr will be in your database so by default it is one maximum you can create 100 okay clear and asmon is also run as a thread and operating system process same way uh, uh, lrg run also thread and operating system process and pman run as an operating system process but it will not run as a thread okay and pmon uh, run as a operating system process and not as a thread so remember this also i forget to tell this okay so clear guys now lreg process is clear now come to uh, ckpt process which is very uh, important process in your database uh, architecture okay so checkpoint what is checkpoint first answer me 
what is checkpoint actually anyone heard this word before those who are working as a dba those who are done the training i'm asking what is checkpoint you are telling uh, the checkpoint process work actually i am asking what is checkpoint checking for date, data updates <laughs> okay no issues see checkpoint is a marker in your database okay suppose you are reading a novel so in one day you can't finish novel right so what you will do you will put some marker some uh, some peacock uh, actually uh, wings you will put it in the notebook uh, earlier days people do that some rose flower you will put that right so you are putting a marker in your novel that next time when you start reading again so you will sort quickly goes Uh, to that marker and open that page and start reading right so same way uh, transaction is going on and uh, so how oracle knows internally which dirty buffer uh, written to the data file and which are not written to the data file so checkpoint basically create a marker in the database and it will tell that uh whatever the dirty buffer before the checkpoint it is written or it was written or it should be written in the data file and whatever the dirty buffer which comes after the checkpoint it should be written to the data file so this is the mechanism of checkpoint clear guys or any doubt okay so now what ckpt will do ckpt will updates the control file and data file header with checkpoint information and also it will signal dbwr or dbw to write blocks to disk so checkpoint information basically include the checkpoint position scn number and location in online redo log file to begin recovery but ckpt does not write dirty buffer please remember that and does not write redo block to online redo log file you can remember this also clear guys so uh, ckpt uh, we had uh, um, uh, C, uh, we had uh, how many types of checkpoint we have in our database yeah another question you got checkpoint right and you get ckpt process work so what are uh, the checkpoints we have actually in database which one then roba you said two okay full and incremental okay any other one can try yesterday i will take introduction from you guys so that i know who are dba who is fresher and who is working as a dba or who is not working trying to get in job so please give tomorrow actually your introduction first so we had three types of checkpoint one is full checkpoint another one is partial checkpoint and third one is incremental checkpoint okay clear so no question comes when full checkpoint will happen when incremental checkpoint happen when partial checkpoint happen yes tell me khan dilrupa khan because you are 
replying and divakar i think no vishwajit actually who was replying again yeah vishwajit is replying full chat full checkpoint happen when you uh, normally shut down the database okay so full checkpoint happens on that time and partial checkpoint when you are taking table space offline when you are taking data file offline so whatever the buffers on that time it will return to the data file for particular that table space and in full checkpoint whatever the dirty buffer for all data files uh, it will return okay an incremental checkpoint happen every 3 second that is the default value and there is a parameter uh, for that actually what is the parameter for incremental checkpoint there is a parameter right no one is replying fast start underscore mttr underscore target so basically this parameter is defined in second default value is 0 and you can set from 0 to 3600 seconds okay clear guys so this will create actually a uh, uh, incremental checkpoint so if you set higher value it will degrade your performance if you set lower value it will also create a problem for you so 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 the default value of uh, uh, fast set ntr ntr target is 0 so if you are setting 5 minute and maximum you are setting 1 hour okay uh, so so uh, if high value uh in in the worst case so recovery would not take that long time and uh, so so you should uh, you should be calculate and set these values actually okay now clear ckpt now ckpt is also run as a thread and as a operating system process okay now another process uh, which is mmon and mmnl so what is the work of these process so these process is called manageability monitor process and it is related to awr task actually so mmon writes when a metric violates its threat hold value taking a snapshot and capturing a statistics value for recently modified sql object okay so this is the work of mmon and mmnl uh, it, it 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 start write statistics from the active session history buffer in the sga when when uh, it also write to disk when ash buffer is full so this is the work of uh are uh, both two process so we know that every 60 second uh by default a snapshot is generated so on that time mmon will come into the picture and when you are accessing active session history report then and that time uh, mmnl uh, will do this work okay so in the diagram you can see uh, this this uh, work actually okay so v dollar session v dollar session underscore wait v dollar active underscore session underscore history db underscore hist underscore active underscore sesh underscore history so these are the views is actually available because space is expensive so every 10 entries is flushed and then mmnl also compute metrics 
and these two process can run as an operating system process and as a thread also okay now come to uh, a reco process so let me move further what is the work of reco anyone so reco is a background process which comes in a distributed transaction actually and due to network or due to system failure uh, that transaction uh, pending so this process uh, will come and uh, it will uh, resolve that failure distributed transaction so reco process uh, automatically connects to other database involved in uh, uh, in doubt distributed transaction so when reco reestablish a connection between the database it automatically resolve all in doubt transactions removing from each database pending transaction table any rows that correspond to the resolved transaction okay and reco is also run as a thread and operating system process now major one optional background process uh, that is arcn so how many arcn we have by default and how many arcn we have total question 12 yeah guys by default how many arcn process comes and total how many arcn process we have who left see guys without informing me uh, if you are lefting leaving from the meeting so next time i will not allow okay so those two left i will not allow in my next session i'm sure free training does not mean that uh, you are paying me or i'm 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 means i have to give to the training i am giving to help to the dba community right so at least uh, do some uh discipline in the session okay due to connection if you are coming out or coming again then it is okay but if mm -hmm. you are leaving then it's very bad actually between the session so it means you are not liking the session or it means you are not understanding or something else just give me one minute my battery laptop battery is down
Oh sorry, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh my god. My bad actually, mic was off. Uh, yeah, I was saying that uh, job, I have to repeat again, oh my god. Uh, job queue process uh, is basically uh, runs when uh, you schedule a job, okay. So you, we know that we schedule a job and that job will run according to the time and date. So on that time, uh, this process comes into the picture and it will uh, run the job. But actually it will not perform it. It will only coordinate the jobs and it will uh, it will uh, CJQ is automatically start and stop as needed by Oracle uh, scheduler and the coordinator process periodically select jobs that need to be run from the system job table uh, job dollar table and new jobs selected are ordered by the time okay and this CJQ process is also enable or start or spawn slave process that is called as JNNN which actually run the job actually so for one job one slave process and when it completes uh, 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 the job at one time after the process finish execution of a single job it will search for more job if no job is present then it will go into sleep state and again if job comes it will wake up and do that if suppose it will not found anything then it will terminate after a job uh, after a preset interval okay and how many types of uh, uh, process we require we have so this parameter will decide okay clear so by default uh, uh, is zero because uh, uh, it is by default it is not started so you have to set the value clear so in the diagram you can see that what is the work of uh, cjq cjq will select the job from the table and after that it will start the job queue slave process job queue will uh, do the job and update the job status in the job table and insert the entry in log log table so this is the way it will work clear guys now uh, another one flashback data archive process so f b d a okay and, and also this CJQ and JNN as a thread and operating system process. Okay. Now FBDA, flashback data archiver process. So this process also run as a thread and operating system. And what is the work of this? There is a concept in flashback technology, flashback data archive concept. So in that, this process archives historical rows of uh, the table. Uh, on which we enable flashback data archives okay so when a transaction containing dml on a track table commits this process stores the pre image of the change rows into the flashback data archive it also keeps metadata on the current row so fbda automatically manage the flashback data archive for space organization and retention okay clear then we we miss this one uh, rvwr so what is rvwr that is recovery writer process that is responsible for a background actual background process it is used uh, to flash back an entire database so when we do flashback database enable in my database so flashback buffer is created so rwr writes uh, reads the data from flashback buffer and writes into the flashback logs so this is the work of rwr and it can run as a thread and as an operating system process also okay so clear rvwr now another one is 
एस एम सी ओ और यू कैन से एस एम फोर स्पेस मैनेजमेंट कोऑर्डिनेटर प्रोसेस सो दिस प्रोसेस इज ऑल्सो रन एज ए थ्रेड एंड एज ए ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड दिस प्रोसेस इज ऑल्सो नॉट डू एक्चुअली वर्क इट विल स्पॉन द स्लेव प्रोसेस दैट इज डब्ल्यू एन 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 इट ऑल्सो रन एज ए थ्रेड एंड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम प्रोसेस so what actually it will do it will manage the space management in your database so whenever smco uh, actually whenever uh, your space allocation and space reclaim happen in your database so smco uh, spawn slave process to implement the task actually okay so smco dynamically span this process okay so uh, wnn process uh, are a slave process and this process uh, actually will do the uh, space management uh, in your in your database okay then dnn and snnn what is that of course uh, dnn means dispatcher snn means uh, shared server process so what is those actually so whenever uh, you had a shared server connection uh, in that client connect to the dispatcher process that is called as dnn which creates a virtual circuit for each connection virtual circuit means it will create a request area it will create a response area and in that uh, it will put the data okay we discuss and then snnn means shared server process who is available uh, it will come uh, and do the task and after that it will put the result into that dispatcher area and then dispatcher will return to that result to the user process okay so same way uh, this work actually so both these process run as a thread and operating a uh, system of your database okay so uh, these are the background process mandatory and optional uh, we have now the third one is slave process uh, i already told that these are the background process that perform work on behalf of other um, uh, background processes okay and uh, uh in in that there is more io slave process io slave process basically will do the asynchronous io for work and uh, uh, suppose uh, 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 you had a data guard okay so in that if suppose you have a synchronous uh, connection or asynchronous you are using mechanism so in, in asynchronous no confirmation is required actually and synchronous confirmation is required okay so to simulate a synchronous io uh, one process uh, can create several slave process okay so the database support different type of io slaves uh, like io slaves for armen and database writer slaves actually so in these two condition uh, your database will use uh, these processes okay clear okay next is database system file okay so that is another component so i will not take today tomorrow i will take it again okay so uh, so so uh, that's it for today